A neighborhood crime alert in Middleburg. It's a Boy Scout trailer is stolen from a church. The Troop 506 Boy Scouts say that they noticed someone snatched their trailer parked at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints last week on the same day that they plan to leave for a summer camp trip. The Troop says the Sheriff's Office is investigating. News for Jack's reporter Coralie Peel joins us. to earn all the gear that was inside the trailer. And now that it's stolen, they have to work even harder to get it all back. This blue trailer is what Boy Scout Troop 506 planned to take with them to summer camp in Fort DeSoto last week. When they arrived to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Middleburg Thursday morning, the trailer was gone. I didn't believe it. Like, why would anybody steal from a church and from a group of young men? The stolen trailer and the gear inside were worth $7,000, according to the troop. And in the trailer with contents were a bunch of camping gear, awards from different uh, camperies that we've done. Um, some of the supplies that we had, we made ourselves, you know, so it was kind of, it's kind of tough. Gear the scouts had worked hard to earn. It's really disappointing. I mean, it's really frustrating and sad at the same time because we got to work to get it back. And we did a lot of hard work, like going, mowing people's lawns, picking up sticks and stuff like that. Like true scouts, the troop made it through the summer camp with the little gear they had. We just tried to stick together as scouts, use troop spirit and just respect each other. Now they will have to start over and earn all of their gear back. I mean, uh, we can do it, but it's just going to be hard, hard, hard work to get it back like what we did before. The troop knows they'll make it through, but they're hoping the stolen trailer will turn up soon. The troop is asking for everyone to keep an eye out for their trailer. The license plate number is C478 GD. The scouts have also set up a GoFundMe page. If you wish to donate, we have all of that information on our website at newsforjacks.com. If you know anything about this crime, you are urged to call the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live from Clay County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.